the birth of the children of Yaakov. Yaakov married Leah and Rachel, and Leah begins having children. Her first son, Reuben, second son, Shimon, third son, Levi, fourth son, Yehuda. When Yehuda is born, Leah names him Yehuda. And she says, Hapam, this time, Odeh et Hashem, I will thank God. And the name Yehuda is the name that means thanks, Hoda'a, thanks to God. And we are called Yehudim. We are called Yehudim because of Yehuda. We are descendants of Yehuda who are always giving thanks to Hashem, to God. And the question is, what does Leah mean when she says, Hapam, this time I will thank Hashem. And the sages actually say that nobody thanked God until Leah came along and said, this time I am thanking God. What was so special that Leah was thanking God for? Rabbi Shimon Schwab presents the following idea. Leah was Jacob's secondary wife. His, her first preference was Rachel. And Leah desired very, very strongly to be Yaakov's beloved and primary wife. And when Reuven was born, Leah said, Ra'a Hashem ba'ani, God saw my affliction. And he gave me this child. And this time, for this time, ishi. now that I'm born a son to Yaakov, he will love me. This son will be a source of Yaakov giving me the love, the, the, the position that I desire. When the next child comes along, Shimon, she says, Shema Hashem, God heard Kisnua Anohi, that I'm still in the same second rate position. So he gave me another son. We understand that things did not change after she had son number one. So therefore she thought, but son number two, I've given him two sons. <clears throat> For sure Yaakov is going to, going to take me very, think of me very specially. When she has then to so child number three, she says, Ata, this time, you know, a person has two hands, two laps. You have two kids, one on each hand, one on each lap. But you got a third kid. You need extra help. Upon you, she for sure. My husband will have to help me out. And she called his name Levi. When time, when the, son number four came along and things had not changed, Leah acknowledged that this is the situation. I am never going to become, I have had three children, and nothing has changed. Yaakov is not going to think of me as his, prim as his primary wife. So at this time, I thank Hashem for whatever it is. I'm not aspiring to have to be the primary wife anymore. But I thank you, Hashem, for the situation that I have it's not my utmost, my perfect situation. But I thank you for whatever it is. I thank you, Hashem. And this is why she's the first one that ever thanked Hashem for something that wasn't perfect. It wasn't exactly what she wanted. 